Okay, she flew over here now. And enjoying that beautiful weather. Look at that blue sky with her yellow eye. My goodness. What a beautiful bird. That's our female Cooper Hawk, size of a crow. And she's sticking close to the nest because any day now she'll be ready to put that first egg in there. And then she's got to lay about four to five eggs. And then she'll start her incubation the last week of April. And then almost 30 days they'll hatch. And then uh, about five and a half weeks from then the babies will be the same size as the adult and they'll be able to fly and hunt the area so but they have a saying the cooper hawks fly on the fourth of july and that's always about right so we'll get a lot of good activity here and this is just beautiful we get to see her back here she's got a couple little white specks on there still she hasn't fully molded out from her juvenile white spots that's how we know it's a young female She's keeping a close eye on those crows, teaching them don't go near that nest. That's off limits. Because uh, she's going to have her eggs in there and they won't tolerate that. The crows will learn the lesson. And what a beautiful day. She's on the perfect limb here. Like I say, the male was here earlier. He did his turn in there, putting some twigs in the nest. And, and when he's when she's incubating, he'll bring her the food and call her off, and he'll take his turn on the eggs till she's done eating, and then she'll go back in there and finish the incubation. Oh, yeah. Well, she looks like she's getting a little restless. See, she might want to go up into the nest and check a few things out. They've done a lot of work in the nest. It's in tip-top shape. It's kind of just a ritual now. Every day they put a little twig in there and fuss around a little bit. But that's part of the bonding process. And they're just getting everything ready for the eggs. Oh, yeah. Look at that wind kick up. My goodness. <laughs> and you usually find her in this tree here. So, yes, indeedy. This is a great nest. They got a great view of it. There's not too many leaves in the way. And uh, like I say, when the youngsters hatch, we can go up on the third floor and shoot through the window and be almost at nest level. All right. Well, that's our female Cooper Hawk looking just as beautiful as she can in gardener nest and keeping them crows away from it. And like I say, she's waiting for the male to come back. And you gotta listen with your ears too, because uh, when he comes back with food, he makes like a big, big call. And man, she sails right over there and gets the food. And that's what he'll use to call her off the nest also. So, so it's bird watching and bird listening. All right, what great blue sky. Look at that color. Got her hackles blown up. But they're all happy that it's not raining and so am I. We've been having plenty of rain out here. Okay then. Well, we'll see if she's gonna take off or what she's up to. She's probably gonna sit tight. They did a lot of work this morning in there, so. It's a great day for Cooper Hawk watching. Again, the early snooper finds the cooper. And there you go. Well, she's on the hunt too, kind of looking down a little bit. All right. 